Hello. And now you get to see my face with my cute little mark where I got in a fight with a tree branch yesterday while uh, cleaning up my yard from the storm. We're going to show you how to turn a straw, simple straw, into a double reed instrument so that you can actually see how it works. All I need to do to make my double reeded straw is have a straw and a pair of scissors. So let's go through the process. First thing I want to do is I want to just close off one end. So I want to take my finger and just kind of go like this on one end until I've got a pretty good looking, let's see if I can get you to see this, kind of flattened edge, okay? Then while I squeeze it tight like that, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim just one quarter. Let me see if I can show you that, how that looks off of that side. Now I'm going to go to the other side and trim it off by the other side as well. So I end up with just a nice little hole and it's trimmed off like that at the top. Okay. And I'm done. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> now the key is, can I make it make a sound? So I put my mouth around it, just down, just below. I want my lips to be just below, right here, just below where I've trimmed. And then I blow on it, and I both move my lips up and back, back and forth until I find the right point. Until I get these two ends to vibrate against each other. And as they vibrate against each other, I get a pitch. Yeah, and I'm actually finding my lips work best just right at the bottom, right there, just right at the bottom there, put my lips. Okay, so your job <clears throat> is to make an oboe straw, figure out how to make it play, and make a video of yourself so I can meet you a little bit better and upload that into Canvas of you playing your oboe straw. Now, oboe straws can play different pitches and it's kind of fun. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take my scissors here. I'm gonna cut off some. Notice the pitch goes up when I cut off some because I've made my tube shorter and a shorter tube equals a higher pitch. Same process for when I put my fingers down on like a clarinet or a flute or whatever. The more fingers down, the more holes down, the more I've lengthened my tube. Whatever's up, that's where the air is going to come out. <clears throat> so as I shorten my tube, I actually make a higher and higher pitch. Bad sound. Kind of fun. So you can kind of explore that a little bit. Now, if you're a brass player or playing a band or something, one of the things I used to like to do was I'd cut it off really short. I'd cut it off to about this long years ago. I would do this, shove it into my trombone mouthpiece, and I had what I call a trombone. It was the most interesting sounding thing ever. So there you go. Oboe straw, and that's your assignment. <laughs>